Okay, we're going to recording. Right, so what we're looking at today is dividing by 10. When we divide by 10, let's have, um, who should we have? Sara, please. Sara, can you unmute and join me, please, on this uh, first few examples? Thank you. So, Sara, when we're dividing by 10, we just, we just finished multiplying by 10, multiply by 100 and 1,000 revision. And can you remind us what was the rule for that when you're multiplying by 10, 100,000? What were we doing? Uh, when, when we multiply by, by 10, 100,000, when you do a when you multiply by a whole number for 10 you add one zero for 100 you add two zeros and for thousand you add three zeros fantastic yeah that's just a quick review of what we've just done and what happens if it's a decimal number and the decimal number you have to move the decimal two places i mean for 10 you have to move the decimal two one place to the right and if it's 100 you have to move the decimal two places to the right and if it's 1000 you have to move the decimal three places to the right. Yeah I mean actually in actual fact what's happening when we're moving the decimal point to the right the actual numbers moving to the left in so the moving the decimal point to the right is like a kind of trick way that we learn is like a quick and a trick way but in reality What's happening is the decimal uh, numbers are moving to the numbers are moving to the left hand side, it, and it, it appears as though the decimal point is moving to the right. Now, when we divide by ten, so what what do you think the rules are going to be for dividing by ten? Um, so before we were adding a zero, what are we going to do now? Taking away a zero. Yeah, you take one zero away, and that's only for what? Whole numbers. Whole numbers that have zeros with them at the end. So you don't just take off a zero if it doesn't have a zero or in the middle of the number. You have to be at the end of the number, like a 20 number, 30, 40, or 320 has a zero on there. So you remove one zero for whole numbers. What else? What happens if you have a decimal number? Um. Before we move, we move in the decimal point, the trick way to the right. Now we're going to move it to the left. To the left. How many places? For 10, 1, for 100, 2, and for 1,000, 3. Okay, let's just do 10 for the moment, because this is the last exercise by. We'll, go, we'll, we'll, cover, we'll cover the divide by 100 and 1,000 in a short moment. Okay, let's have a look at the... Let me move my tool, tool bar out of the way. Give me a second. Okay, so let's start over here. The number five. What's five times by? So sorry. What's five divided by ten? It doesn't have a zero. So we need to put one on, isn't it? Um, so where do you put the? Where do you put this one point? Um, after the number, which is five. So what's going to be my final answer? Zero point five. Okay. The next question is seventy-one. We're going to divide it by 10, and what do we do? Well, it's not, a, it's not a whole number with the zero at the end of it. There's no zeros here, so we can't use the top method. What about the decimal number? It's not a decimal number either, but we can make it into a decimal number by putting the decimal point where? Um, after the number. After the number one, here's the decimal point. So the decimal point always lives at the right-hand side or the far right of a whole number. Now, which direction do I move in now, the decimal point? Left. So what is the new answer? 7.1. Okay, the next question already has a decimal point. So where do we move that if you're dividing it by 10? One place to the left. So the final answer is? 1.81. And we've got 5.06. We divide that by 10. Where do you move this one point? Um, one place to the left. 0.5. Zero six. And the last one? Um, you use it one place to the left. And you so copy all the numbers down. That's the thing. As you move the decimal point, you've got to copy the numbers directly straight down, not on the right or on the left. Not moving them diagonally. If you look at all my numbers, I try to keep them as straight as possible, as close as possible. Okay? Right. Are we happy with dividing by 10? Yeah. Okay, I want to show of hands next to your names. 
for the students, if you're happy with dividing by 10 or you want me to do any more example, put your hand up if you're happy. Put your hand up next to your name. Yeah, okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay, yeah, lovely. Okay, Kogi. If anybody needs me to do any more examples, please uh, unmute and say, Sir, I need some more examples. Anybody need any more examples? Sir, I need more examples. Okay, that's no problem at all. Okay. Let's have a go at some more examples. Mr. Yahya, can you please join me on the next questions then? Right. The number eight, let's just write over here. Where's the decimal point? Um, at the end. Always at the end of a whole number. And uh, when we divide it by 10, do we move the decimal point to the right or to the left? Left. So what's the answer become? Um, 0 0.8. Because you can't write point 0.8. That's, that's slang maths. That's not proper maths. You can say to me, sir, oh, the, this table is 0.8 meters. You can say it verbally, but when you write it down, you, you can't write down 0.8 and it still be looking, it just doesn't look right. So you have to put the extra zero at the front to give the number its correct status of 0 0.8 or 0 0.8. Okay, next one, 0 0.33 divided by 10. What do we do to this one point? You move it back. One. You move it back, so the answer becomes 0 0.0. 0 0.3. 33. Okay, now remember, we never say no point note 33. We always say the decimal numbers after the decimal point on the right hand side as individual digits. So we always read this as 0 0.033. If we don't read it as 0 0.033, that's just an incorrect way of, of reading the maths numbers. Next one, 503.4. Um, move it back once. Which will equal five zero point thirty four. Okay, you read it back to front now. You can say fifty because that's on the left hand side. So the saying fifty full is correct. And you can say fifty point three four. So af after the decimal point, then you go into individual digits. But before the decimal point, you read like a normal number, like whether it's four hundred or five hundred or fifty. So that's normal. Okay, the next one you have eighty two. Um, so you're gonna put the decimal point at the back at the end. Yeah, move it forward back. once. Okay, what about 88 point and this next number 88.33? What they've given us a decimal point, so we grab it and move it how many places? Once. Okay, lovely. That's a lovely example now. I think it's a chance for you guys to pack some questions of your own. And I'm just going to pause the screen and uh, I'm going to give you a chance to do some questions. Right, here we go. Let me get a highlighter. Right, okay, folks, have a go with those questions. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, folks, those, those are the answers to the questions I highlighted earlier. I think the decimal point is not showing up carefully on this one here. That's missing. It wasn't too dark or too fat. Okay, Rob, lovely. Got a nice, big, lovely, juicy decimal point there now. Dad? Yes? You know, for... Um... Okay, hang on one second. Go on. No, no, no. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Okay, lovely. So, the... the 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 magical eight's gone now it's 0 0.886 yeah that's a bit of a funny eight there next to the six it looks like a three actually so sorry about that just the numbers will come out a little bit odd so um, yes okay yes one, wouldn't it? recording now this is the dividing by a hundred okay now when we divide by a hundred what do we do with the uh, with the whole numbers You would take away two ones from them. Two ones or two zeros? Two zeros. Okay, you only take away two zeros if they have the two zeros originally there. What do you do with the decimal point? We are recording, Mr. Hasiba, and I'm getting old. Yeah, um... When we divide it by 10, we move one place to the left. When we divide it by 100, we're going to move? Right. 
Allah Akbar, we move two places to the left. Oh. Uh, got two zeros, two, zero, two, two places left. Okay, so let's have a look at our first, let's start over here. So 0.46, we divide it by 100, what do we do this for point? Um, two spaces to the left. So what's that give us and what's the answer? Um, okay. Copy, copy. What do you do with empty? What do you do with empty homes? You should put a uh, put zero. And the decimal point lands there. What do you do with the space over here now at the front? So have I finished the question? Um. Let's mm. record. Yeah. Okay, right. Can you divide this number by 100, please? Uh, yes. What do we do with this one point? The decimal point, you have to move two places to the left. And then drop it down here, copy all the numbers down. What do you do at the front of the point? At the front of the point, you have no number there, so you have to just write a zero. Fantastic. That's correct. Lovely. Okay, what about the number 606? I have no zeros at the end and I have no decimal points, so how do I do that question? At the end, you have to put a decimal point there. And, and then? then? move two spaces to the left again. So the point will be dropped down and you will have your answer 6.6. 6. 6.06. 6. You, you must, even though it's a zero in the middle of the number, you must still pronounce the zero as 6.06. .06. Lovely. But what about the number 406.8? You divide that by 100. How do we do that one? You have to put the decimal point to move it two places to the left. And after you, you drop it down, which will be 4.068. Okay, that was done fantastically. Okay, lovely. All right, let me just pause the recording. Okay, so these are the answers. I'm just going to put the recording on for a few moments. So 900, we remove two zeros. 2,000 move two zeros because we have them there available. Everything else we have got to put a decimal point in or we've got to move the existing decimal point. Mm -hmm. All done? Okay, right. Go. Okay, so we're going to be dividing by 1,000 the last exercise now on the, the maths. I'm going to have Haseeb, uh, sorry, Mr. Talha join me. Okay, so we're gonna uh, tell her go over two methods for dividing by thousand. So if you have whole numbers with zeros at the end, what do we do with the zeros? You, you, you. What do we do? We remove how many zeros? Three. Fantastic, because we've got three zeros in a thousand. We remove three zeros from if we have those three zeros available in the question. Okay, what about if the question is a whole number, uh, it's a decimal number? You're supposed to move the decimal point. How many places? Three places left. Fantastic. Okay, let's practice some of those questions then. Let's see if we can find a question with, okay, here we go. So the question 2000, we're gonna divide that by thousand, do we have three zeros for removal? Yes. So boom, boom, boom. So what's the final answer? Two. Nice and easy. Okay, let's have a look. Do you have, I don't think we have any more on this exercise here with loads of zeros in there. We got loads of decimal point questions. Okay. So let's me, let me choose a couple of questions for you to do with me right now. Okay. All right, okay, and that one as well. So the number 900, you have to divide it by 1,000. How do we do it? It's a whole number. How many zeros do we have here? Two. Two, is that enough? No. So what do we do then? Put a? Put a decimal point. At the end of the number and then? You make it with three spaces left. So I'm getting this answer. Can you help me sharpen the answer for me, please? You put the zero before the decimal point. Lovely. And what about the two zeros at the end? Do we actually need to keep that running in the answer? No. 
Fantastic. They're called unnecessary zeros. So the final answer is 0.9. If you wrote down 0.900, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be incorrect, but uh, it would be everyone would think that you're an amateur. You're just starting off in maths. You don't really you're not really confident. So putting it as 0.9 shows that you're a professional mathematician. So okay, that's a nice one there. All right, let's finish up this one now. 93.45 divided by 1,000. What do we do with this one? What do you do with this one point? We already have this one point. What do you do with it? You move it three spaces to the left. So we drop it down. Copy. 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 Oops. Copy. What do we put in this gap here? Zero. And what do we put at the front? Zero. Another zero for the number to sound right when you say it or look right when you write it down. Note point zero nine three four five. Fantastic, lovely. Okay, uh, we've done uh, the 900. We've done the other example with the 2000 as well, has been done. So you've done that one as well. That's excellent. <clears throat> so I think that's enough examples, really. I think we should practice some questions that everybody should have a go. So let me give you some questions to do now. So we got 10, 6.71, 500, 90, 606, 4, 6, 6. Okay. Okay, folks, I'll give you a couple of questions there. Put the timer on now, pause the video. After you go, try those questions, please. So these are the answers to those questions. Check them. So we're going to bring this video recording to an end now because we've done our our dividing by tens, hundreds, and thousands. Hopefully, we'll put that onto YouTube for everybody, and you can watch that later. Inshallah.